All right, folks, what's up? We are, uh, this is part two of working with uh, the girlfriend here, trying to get her all tuned in and rocking and rolling. Um, today, <clears throat> this is the first time she's ever drawn a handgun from a holster. So she's got one of my uh, Serpas that I tear the button and shit out of and give out to people. And uh, pretty ghetto setup really, but plenty good enough for this. So all we're doing today is really working like one shot draws and working on driving the pistol, dominating the pistol, gaining that confidence that you can really run the shit out of the pistol. And that's basically what my uh, initial class is about, but we're gonna run from about six yards we're at and uh, just gonna push. And what this video is gonna be about really is how pushing immediately drives that muscle memory or drives that myelination. It forces you to get it right. It forces you to do things. And then as long as they're being safe and I'm watching their trigger finger and their manipulations and everything is good, we are going to start pushing. And what that does is it doesn't allow you to have that mental rope to hang yourself. If we're sitting out here like this, just just thinking about sight, trigger, am I, am I squeezing the gun good enough? Is, is it aligned? Am I focusing on the right thing? Am I pulling the trigger right? All that shit is just a bunch of mental rope to hang yourself. So instead of worrying about that pow, and then worrying about that pow, we just run the shit out of the gun from the get-go. And then later, we work on uh, precision accuracy and shooting groups and stuff. So I give them a nice big target, we push, we push, we draw fast, we shoot fast, we push, 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 push. And the next thing you know, after, what, a half hour, you're completely not scared of that pistol anymore. You're just running it. And as soon as I tell her to do something, she whips it out and does it. No more, no more timidness, no more... Uh, anticipation no more none of that just just go rock and roll what we're gonna do here is we're gonna do a couple one-shot draws into the berm again we recorded this didn't have enough freaking storage on my phone <laughs> and lost it so we'll do a couple of the same thing we'll do a couple one-shot draws I'm gonna push you push 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 we want to be down around that 120 130 that you were before and then <clears throat> we're gonna do a couple build drills into the dirt no target no nothing just feeling what that gun feels like when you're shredding with it this was the last bill drill that she did a 398 into a sheet of paper at six yards so almost a regular bill drill under four seconds pretty freaking crazy for the first day she's ever drawn a handgun and the first day she's ever ran a handgun fast One twenty-eight. That feel good. Yeah. Push forward. Stand by. Okay. One nineteen. Just make sure you're getting that hand on there nice and safely. Okay. One forty. Push your body forward a little bit more, and don't do it right before the shot. Stand by. There it is, 130. That's where I want to see you at. Stand by. There you go, 120. Stand by. Okay, that was a 110. That's the fastest one you've done all day. There's other ones. The only difference between a 110 and a 130 for you is how fast you're reacting to the beat. Yeah. Sometimes it's like beep then go yeah. sometimes it's it's go pretty quick so we're gonna do a couple one shot draws on the paper <clears throat> see what that looks like earlier when we started the day she was at 330 325 something like that for a good solid shot uh, in a in about a six inch circle on the paper <clears throat> then we got that down to 230 really quickly and then uh, earlier we were down around the 1.5 mark for pretty good shots over and over and over, one six, one four, between that margin right there. And that's pretty awesome. So drive, finish the shot. 
There it is. 146. You should be able to do that every single time right now. Stand by. There it is. See how you're being more aggressive? 144. Stand by. Okay. That one, uh, we got a little wacky. <laughs> that was a 127, but it's off to the left. Like right at yeah, the top? Yeah, two inches to the left. Now you're putting your hand further in front now, and I think you're better doing it that way. Oh, yeah. You're kind of coming around the gun quicker and, and nicer. Yeah. Stand by. Okay, 139. Stand by. Okay, 148. Let's try to, I want you to drive a couple right in the middle. Like no fail, no fail shots right here. I want you to bet me a hundred bucks on each shot. Drive them in the center. Finish the shot, follow through. So if you're, if you're giving me no fail shots, it should be about 175. Drive through the shot. Don't don't quit on it before you're done. Stand by. There it is. 173. Stand by. There you go. Finger out. Perfect. 156. All right. So the build drill now. We're going to run into the berm a couple times. Remember, <clears throat> every time you go like this, it pushes you back. Every time you come out and drive, it pushes you, you, you know, you're pushing it. When you're pushing that gun off, you'll start to develop uh, some timing to it to where you're, you're like pushing into the gun. But... That, that's something that comes with a little bit of time here, but <clears throat> for the most part, you'll start feeling that. So, so you want me to do? Six? I want you to do a build drill into the berm again six? as fast as you can. So actually, do you got enough? Yeah, yeah, you should. You should. I should have enough. All right, as fast as you can run this one. One, two, three, four, five, six. Ready? Stand by. Okay. <laughs> so that's a 280 all right now that was probably a group yeah like I was, was probably back. a two foot by two foot group I was leaning back a yeah and you're letting the gun push you a little bit yeah so let's do one more of them as fast as you can possibly do it just be like pushing that gun just right. behind it 280 if you could do that on paper right now it'd be crazy <laughs> all right stand by Would you get trigger freeze or something? Now you just shot a group that time that was like on cardboard, easy. So we're gonna do this one, build drill, right into a USBSA target. Uh, it's all marked up, so we'll see what happens here. Her best one is a 398 into a piece of paper. So this is a slightly smaller target. I want you to drive that ball, that red ball, that fiber optic, just ding, ding, ding. The biggest thing is your shots aren't going left and right. If we can go vertical, that's what we want. And if you think about self-defense, a person, it's a whole bigger target vertically. If you miss to the side, you're going to miss them. If you miss vertically, you're just going to hit them in the dick, in the neck, instead of the face or the chest or whatever. We're going to run uh, a straight up build drill into this as fast as we can. Um, her best time so far is a 398 clean on a piece of paper so this is a slightly smaller accuracy standard from six yards stand by aggressive stand by there it is so that was a 475 and that's a real nice all all six rounds in there you just had a real big hesitation between so we'll look at it your first shot was a little slower, like you were trying to adjust your grip. Yeah. It's 213, then 44, then 92. 
So you almost had a whole second between the second and third shot. So I need stand by. Oh, look at that. Same time. 475? No, 398. Oh. <laughs> All right. So we had three close Charlies on that one. See them? One, two, three right there in a little hook. Oh, yeah. But that's not that bad at all. So 398, first shot 158. We got a good target. Three Charlies there. One, two, three. But everything else, the other three shots were right in here. So a really good group. Just a couple little. That's honestly. Those sites on that Glock that she is using are Bob Vogel competition sites, and they're really pretty damn uh, precise, pretty thin blade. They're really awesome sites. They're my favorite, but for a brand new handgun shooter, any little deviation, she's going to be pulling shots even if she's shooting well. Okay, that's about... That's a 178 all clean. So this was my first day drawing from a holster and I think what I learned most was that I did better whenever I stopped thinking about hitting the target and just shot. Um, and the timer helps to push you to continuously want to improve. So that helps a lot too. See ya. All right, there you have it. So definitely gets a lot funner when you push. It gets the, uh, the student out of their head and allows you to rock and roll, so take her easy.